Good morning, scientists. Here we are again, Monday, April 27th, for our observational walkthrough. I'm going to do a video, and I'm going to be quiet at the beginning and let you all take in observations. Oh, that breeze coming through feels so good. Then I'll do a walk back around using some words and give you a little bit of commentary. Here we go. All right, scientists, I'm gonna walk backward now, see if I can remember my steps. So maybe you notice some observations. The apple tree looks like it's got a lot more apples than last week. To me, they look like they're definitely getting more developed, longer fruits, and they're turning this kind of like reddish color on, um, on a lot of them. Maybe you saw here kind of these uh, little black insects that I noticed last week as well and I did some research and I looked them up they're black bean aphids and they are actually sucking the nectar or the sap I'm sorry the sap out of the plant the fava bean itself um, and they're making our plant more vulnerable to pests also and other little viruses Over here, you might see that our broccoli has flowered. So now there are these gorgeous yellow flowers. And earlier, um, I actually saw some bees that were coming to pollinate these beautiful edible broccoli flowers. 
I also really notice all the, the symmetry, how there's four petals on those beautiful yellow broccoli flowers. Our fava beans have gotten really large in the other beds here. <clears throat> Coming around, maybe you heard that there actually were a few bees on our California lilac. It almost looks like there's a second bloom. These were, I think, were the first blooms where the bees were coming a couple weeks ago, and now it looks like there's a second bloom. And so I think some bees are pollinating for another round. This bed, wow, the oregano and the lemon um, balm really grew a lot since last week. Um, we have some collards that really grew quite a bit compared to last week. Wow, the grass along the perimeter is growing profusely. Over here we have more artichokes forming this week. A couple of small ones have popped out. And interestingly, the little bok choys, maybe you remember, these were volunteers that came up right underneath where I was teaching by our circle. And I just transplanted them and now they look lovely. I mean, something's eating that leaf bare, but um, they're doing pretty well. I observed that the corn um, is no longer growing here, so I have a theory uh, that someone transplanted it, moved it somewhere else. I observed that the nasturtiums are stunning, and there's so many. How many can you count there? Nasturtium flowers. Rocky would love to eat some nasturtium flowers. And observed that a lot of our peas are doing excellently. Check out the peas in Ugwe's bed. They are growing, trellising up the potato tower as intended. And if I look closely, so here are the flowers. And I can, let me see one here. So look here, this one has the fruit and the flowers being discarded. So we know that that flower got pollinated and here are some where there's no flower at all, just the fruit. Oh, and look, you can see that little bottom part where the flower the petals met that green part of the flower. Maybe you noticed the figs. There's a lot more figs and there are a lot more leaves. As we come along here, this sunflower that was growing is getting so tall. Maybe it's like two, two feet now. As I came through here, maybe you observed all these limes. There are so many that are ready. And look, there's even more lime flowers. So once those open and get pollinated, we'll have even more limes. Plums are growing. Wow, I didn't even notice this in the first walkthrough. What herb is this? We had it in our tea tasting. It's good for soothing you, calming anxiety. Ah, lavender, that's right. Look at all this Jerusalem sage. All these flowers are just begging to have their nectar sucked by students. Farron's gonna have a, have a tough job keeping up with those. And then over here, our apricots are still growing. And a little more color looks like it's coming through there. Our beautiful pink flowers in the front of the garden. I did some research trying to figure out which ones these are and I'm having a little bit of a tough time. So if you know, let me know. Still searching. And in the very front, our spinach looks incredible. Oh, here's some evidence. Of a creature, we know what that what creature eats like that. What, what creature, Karen? Um, it mines leaf, the yeah, leaf. Leaf, miner. leaf miner. It's in there mining around. Oh, a couple strawberries too. On their way. Last, I want to show you the kiwi. Maybe you saw it at the very beginning. It's got so many leaves. It looks wonderful. All right, students. See you later.